Hello everyone. Today's video is a special video on feeding of small and big roses, particularly what nitrogen source we have to feed nitrate nitrogen or ammonium nitrogen. These are plants I have potted December end. Uh, you may have seen this video. In this uh, plant, I have feed seaweed and ammonical nitrogen only, no nitrate nitrogen. The reason we will find out in this video why I have feed only ammonical nitrogen and uh, these are the present condition of all the potted roses. Actually the temperature was about 4 to 5 degrees range and it is certainly below 12 degrees Celsius minimum temperature. So that growth is not that much as a warm or spring season, but certain growth is there. It means plant has established. But another uh, nitrogen source of urea, normally we don't feed in roses, but you can but be careful that is highest and concentration of nitrogen. Here in the screen uh, that comparison of ammonium and nitrate nitrogen is shown that plant normally prefer ammonium nitrogen and uh, that second line you can see absorption of ammonium is passive process and uh, that nitrate is active process. It means it draws some energy to assimilate this nitrate nitrogen from root zone. And in high temperature that nitrate is better absorbed and in low temperature that ammonium is better absorbed. So in colder months, you have to give more ammonium fertilizer than nitrate fertilizer. And in next slide, we will see effect in root zone pH is uh, that ammonium will make root zone acidic and nitrate will make root zone alkaline or basic you can say and a small plant that absorbs ammonia better and their roots are not prepared to absorb nitrate. So a small plant you have to only give ammonical nitrogen and prefer feed in big roses both you can give preferred ratio here you can see root development it is longer root in ammonical feed and shorter and thick roots in nitrate feed. Here in another slide that combined mixture of this ammonical and nitrate is shown. In winter, you have to give more ammonium nitrogen up to 25% and in spring, you have to reduce ammonium nitrogen up to 15% and rest of the nitrogen source should be nitrate nitrogen. This is uh, true for vegetation growth period of the roses. In my last video about fertilizers, I have mentioned that NPK ratio should be maintained as 3, 1, 2. That 3 is nitrogen source, remaining you have to cover 
uh, as per uh, that video. But uh, that ammonium source in cinder media will ultimately convert it to nitrate because cinder is very airy media and uh, in presence of oxygen most of the ammonium will convert to nitrate and it is absorbed by plants. In soil media in that video you have to reduce ammonium component bit more in the range of 25 to 10 percent so that proper growth can be achieved in your plant. I have pruned or trimmed my roses as now temperature is uh, rising and it is about 8 to 10 degrees minimum temperature and maximum temperature is in the range of 20 or 22 degrees. So it is uh, best time to prune your roses that lower temperature force this plant to natural dormancy. So pruning or trimming is required to activate the growth of these roses. Here gardeners are forcing their roses to artificial dormancy in the month of September, October or November. That is not actual a dormancy because essential component is below 12 degree temperature which is never achieved in those months in most part of India. So that is not a dormancy, I am again saying that is starving or fasting of roses you can say and you will observe most of the dieback after that period when pruning occurs. That reason I will discuss in some other video but that is the reason for it because that is not a dormancy. You can see in the video lot of vessel growth is visible and uh, this is the season you have to force your plant with appropriate nitrogen to get a basal growth of roses. So best is combine ammonium and nitrate nitrogen that will help to break these basal shoots and uh, moisture you have to maintain because without moisture in bud union basal growth will not happen. So that moisture uh, maintenance is essential to get proper basal break. This is a long video friends, thank you and I will give source and uh, link to the last video uh, in the description, thank you.